Hey guys, don't forget that I got brand new merch. Link in the description below if you guys want to wear some royalty merch. This world is full of nightmares. Werewolves, vampires, and more struggle to survive in an eternal conflict over power, land, and mystical artifacts. Yet a new terror rises, threatening all they hold dear. Bound by their ancestors, a new generation rises to leave their mark upon this land. They will be tested, hunted, and feared. Welcome to Supernatural Origin. Yes, I know. I, mu I, I must know which Green Lantern ring is the strongest, all right? Is it the green one? Is it the red one? Is it the white one? Is it the black one? Is it the purple one? Like, come on! And I also gotta know which Robin is which. Like, which Robin died? Which Robin did this? Which Robin did that? It's very interesting stuff. I'm learning. Sir, you're supposed to learn about the shape-shifting capabilities. You know, the capabilities that... You're going to use to go into your father's castle full of heavily guarded vampires who's dedicated their lives to protecting your father and the castle. You should know. Well, I, I mean, yeah, but like, all right, listen, all right? So there's this character. His name is Martian Manhunter, all right? I feel, I feel he's a shapeshifter, all right? He's also a Martian. Very interesting fellow. Sir, you're... you're not a green Martian, are you? No, not yet. You see, if I go to the witch lady and turn me into a Martian, there we go. Boom. Solved. I become Martian Manhunter. Sir, have you been drinking again? No, I'm very, very sober. Why? What is it? <sighs> okay, um... Sorry to tell you this, but that's not how the world works, alright? You can't just simply do that. Alright, listen, I can do whatever I want to do, alright? You see this logo on my arms? I am a Dracula. There's all, there's only a few of us left. Well, you know, it's my grandfather that I haven't seen in centuries. And then there's also my dad, and then me. Uh, we gotta continue on the family name. And, hey, you know, from what I've learned from the family name is that we can do a, a lot. A lot of cool and very important things. Some of which, I haven't even mastered yet. Yes, I know, sir. I... Yes, I know. Uh, you've only touched the surface of the amount of capabilities the Dracula family can actually obtain. But I don't think turning into a Martian will, uh, will help you. 
Yeah, you're right. Anyways, do you get any information? Just, like, read all the books and stuff? Why, yes, but no. It basically comes over time. You see, if you really imagine something in your mind, like, imagine it very, very much so, it's almost like your cells switch, if that makes sense. So are you talking about if I imagine that I become Batman, that I can actually become Batman? No, sir. It's a real being, not a fictional comic book character. Uh, well, uh, fine, yeah, I should probably get more serious enough with the comic books. Uh, I just stole them from Marcus's room anyway. He wasn't looking. What's the guy gonna do? He's got one arm. Sir, that's, that's not very nice. I mean, like, for real, like, what's he gonna do? Well, I mean, you did seem to be very protective of him before. I mean, yes, yeah, because I felt bad. Like, yeah, I slept outside his room for a couple of nights, but it's because I felt bad. You know, the guy just lost his arm. But you stole that comic book from him. All right, well, you're not the judge. Okay, stop. All right, the main focus is my shape-shifting capabilities. All right, so, like, can I, can I test it out? Like, can I shape-shift into a chair or, like, does it have to be, like, a living being? Well, it has to be a living being, you see. Then why does that explain how I was into a bear? Well, yeah, I don't really know, to be honest. I guess it just kind of happened. Yeah, well, it's happened now twice. So, yeah. Well, there is no way that a bear would be allowed into the hotel. So, you have one of two options. Number one, you can go in through stealth through the subways, and if you get caught, shape shift into something, I don't know, like a rat or something. Something that the vampires wouldn't even really recognize. Or, you can just waltz right into the main entrance, as, uh, the little thing Jackson has. Oliver, right? Yeah, we talked about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, um... Go knock on his door and see if he's around. Oh, we'll do. We'll do. Um, Jackson. Uh, Jackson. Jackson. Uh, who am I kidding? I never ever knock. All right. Uh, there's oh, Miss Oliver. Hey, hey, Oliver. I'm just here to quickly get my food. Oh. Sir, um, where are you going? Oliver's right there. Yeah, I know, but shh, right? Remember what I said about talking? About, like, you know? Is anyone around? <sighs> Sir, no, no. I did st st stop. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, wait, yeah, I still got all these. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Uh, no, I should probably restock here. That's the thing. Mmm, I mean, it's not gonna hurt just to take a couple. Sir, how about after the mission? Alright, you need to focus. This is your father you're talking about. My father? You are you talking about the Dracula who hasn't even gotten into his first war? My father who hasn't even fought in the past, like, a hundred years ever since I was born? My father who would rather play ping pong with an 80-year-old... Sorry, 80. 80. Yeah, I guess 80 year old human. Yeah. Ah, uh, that was a weird time. Ah, but you get the point. My dad, he's nothing. I can easily take him. Easy. What I'm more scared about is his sacred guard. See, he, my dad's more lenient, but his sacred guard is, uh, well, the people who attacked us, and they have been wanting to fight for a while. I knew a couple of them. In fact, I was supposed to be a sacred guard as a summer camp. But, uh, yeah. It's kind of scary. Who knows, they could be watching. Like I said, they could be those goats. 
So you were really drunk last night. Let's just not talk about it. Let's just go back down to Oliver and try to see if we can become him, okay? Sounds like a plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could already go into a bat. I mean, like, how hard is this really? I mean, I could already shapeshift into a bat. I mean, yeah, it took me, like, a couple of tries. I mean, I had to jump off the roof. But, like, I don't know. It should be pretty easy to shapeshift. All right. Listen here, Oliver. You know me. I know you. You don't talk much. I like that. You look like a cool guy. I can hardly hear the violin that you're playing. I also like that. You're quiet. You're silent. I like it. You can't talk. So... You got big ears, so you can listen. I have a plan, alright? And it involves you, but kinda you, but not really you. It involves me, that it involves you. So you're making absolutely zero sense. Okay, well, Oliver, um, I have a little secret, alright? You can keep secrets, right? Because you don't talk. Yeah? Perfect. I can actually shapeshift into different things. Such as, well, a bear, but that's besides the point. I would like to shapeshift into you. I don't believe the vampires have actually seen you yet before, and, well, if they did, they probably wouldn't remember you. You're, yeah. So, I have a proposition. Just allow me to sit, you know, uh, just allow me to, like, study you for a little bit, and then, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. All I need to do is just really study you, and then after that, I could shapeshift into you, and then I could sneak in through the house, and since, you know, you got that violin, I may also need to take the violin, or I could just buy one. Wait, is the violin attached to you? Because I've never really seen you... Ah, maybe. Okay, so I could sneak in through there, I could pretend that I'm one of the, I don't know, like the... guitar players, I guess? And so, what, is that, is that... Is this a violin, or is that a cello? I think that's a cello. But cellos are bigger. Alright, you know what? It doesn't matter. I could just sneak in, pretend that I'm with the band, and then maybe I could sneak into my dad's office and see what he's really hiding, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if it even... I wonder if he even cares that I'm gone. I mean... My dad isn't really one for war. Uh, I don't know. See, I don't know if it's my dad that's calling all these attacks on us, or if it's just the guard, you know, because this sword, I mean, yeah, it's been in my family for literally ever since the first Dracula, so I guess they would probably want it back. Uh, I don't know. I've never even seen my dad even wield this thing. It belongs to me, but whatever. All right, Oliver, just sit tight. Don't tell Jackson, all right, or anyone else. I'm just gonna, like, scan you. Um, or wait, here. Can you... Okay, I, I'm gonna show you my little friend, okay? His name is, uh, Lucius, but I also, he, he goes by many names. It's Charles, it's Lucas, uh, it's, it's whatever. But, he's going to scan you, and, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do some quick little scans, and, okay, I think... Did you get it right? Yes, sir. I think we have everything we need. Now, uh... Just think about it. What am I supposed to think about? Well, just think, like, like what would Oliver do? You know, like, think about Oliver's movements, his texture, his... his smell, everything about what makes Oliver, Oliver. Uh, he's got sunglasses? Like, like, oh, he just sits there all day. Well, practice that, sir. Like, like sit, sit down. Uh, okay. No, no on the table. table. Oliver doesn't sit on a couch. Oh, I've got to be kidding. Alright, I'm sitting down. Now what? Now pretend that you're playing a soft, smooth instrument. As you're just bobbling your head. You're cool, you're calm, you're collected. You're living the life of luxury. So, what you're saying is how I used to live before I was in this trash dump of a, of a castle. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Okay, I can't believe I'm 
gonna actually do this. Sir, it help if you close your eyes. Sure, yeah, whatever. All right, it goes nothing. Jeez, <laughs> at least I'm not playing the violin. What kind of loser would play the violin? Ah, surely no one I know of. <sighs> what am I doing? This is pathetic. Never, ever gonna... Is it just me or did everything get smaller? Um, Charles, Lucius, uh, whoever you are, uh, uh, what happened to me? Um, sir, uh, may I wanna look at a reflection? Reflection? Oh, I guess the oven door. Oh. My. Gosh. It worked? Um, yeah, it looked like it did. I am now that ugly thing? Oh, come on, sir. Don't, don't call it ugly. It's adorable. Look at it. I've got ears the size of, like, anything. Look, look, look at me. Oh, God. All right, well, looks like this will do. So... How do I go back to being myself? Well, I guess that's the easy part now, isn't it? Mm. My say is that you probably should just stay as Oliver for right now. What? Why? I, I, I've already proven I can shapeshift. Okay, no, at least I'm going into a bad mode. I'm sorry. Oh, whoa. What was all that? I've never had that before. What's going on to me? Well, your body is just really messed up right now. Um, I would say just stay as Oliver for now, and then tomorrow morning you'll go to the hotel and we'll see from there. Sounds like a plan, alright? Whatever. Uh, just let me get out of here. Are you kidding me? The doorknob. Isn't even. Ugh. Ugh. Oh god, what if someone sees me? Wait, hold on, I gotta pretend that I'm Oliver. Sir, what are you doing? I'm pretending like I'm Oliver. How is this pretending like you're Oliver? Because he doesn't talk. No, shh. You're killing my vibe. Oh, uh, alright. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wait, I just realized. Um, sir? Yeah, just, just, what? No, 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 sir, sir, just watch out. Why? Because Oliver, I mean, this Rocket and Scully don't know who Oliver is. So what are you saying? You might want to sleep somewhere else tonight. I don't know, it's, it could spook them, you know? <sighs> okay. No one ever goes to the library, let's be real. Let's get sleep in here. Alright, well. There. Oh, oh. Okay, there. This is nice and cozy. If anyone asks. What? Why doesn't Oliver go into a chair? He looks really good in a chair. I don't know, sir. I don't know. Now, rest up. You have a really busy and important day tomorrow. Yeah, got it. 